All right, everybody, what is going on? We're taking a look at the other EZA or Extreme Z area unit that came out as part of the ninth anniversary. This is going to be how to EZA this first form Frieza right here. So this first form Frieza, if you haven't seen my other guides, those will be linked in the description. If you scroll down and they'll have like a linked video section, uh, you'll also things, see things pop up in the top right hand corner, the little white banner that shows up. Uh, be sure to click on those if you have not done the part one and part two farming guides where we show how to farm this guy up, get him awakened, all that good stuff. Now, you don't actually have to EZA this guy um, in order to get the 50 ticket multi, so I'm sure that not many people are going to be looking into this this time, but uh, maybe you're curious, you're here, so anyway, I'm going to do the video anyway, so... Um uh, this EZA area can be found in the challenge event section if I can get the game to load. It is this one right here, the Extreme Z area universe's most universe's most wicked bloodline. All right, uh, can't call it universe's most malevolent, right? We can't we can't call it that. We got to call it the most wicked bloodline. Anyway, so um, if you scroll down, it's pretty deep down here in all of these events. Uh, but if you get down here far enough, you will come across. Uh, did I accidentally scroll past it? I think I did. I. I might have accidentally scrolled past it. Hang on. Sorry. Yep, here it is. Sorry. I scrolled past it. So once you get to the Dokkan Ultimate Thrilling Battle, you know you're getting close. The ninth anniversary battle, it's two down from that. So here we go. Universe's most wicked bloodline. Um, I did accidentally already clear the first stage. I was going to back out, but then it gave me the question mark, and I was like, well... I've got to do it now. So anyway, this is the team that I built in order to do this Extreme Z area. Um, you can see that the roster here is quite limited. Uh, if I just pull a character off so that we can see everyone. The thing about this, though, is that a lot of the characters are free to play. So that, that's going to help you out. So like this... Um, uh, King Cold and Mecha Frieza right here are from the Battlefield shop. You can pick them up with Battlefield currency. Uh, they are going to be the best leader as well. Four key, 130% to stats. Uh, pretty good. Uh, then you have to bring Frieza on the team, so we're going to go ahead and click on the Frieza that we have to bring. Uh, Metal Cooler right here is also in the Battlefield shop. We can bring him. Uh, then from there, we want to try to bring Type Advantage, so this Frieza is going to be Int. Uh, so let's go ahead and bring these two physical characters right here. Um, this Mecha Frieza and this King Cold are both Super Strike units. Um, if you have not completed their Super Strike events, be sure to head over to the Story Event tab, and you'll scroll down probably to the very bottom, where you'll find the their events right there. Um, after that, we can kind of bring whoever. I was bringing the first form Prime Battle Frieza, also a free-to-play unit. So this entire team right here is completely free-to-play. Uh, there's nothing on here that I can have that you're not going to because you haven't summoned enough or anything like that. Um, again, all free-to-play units that is on my lineup right here. So let's go ahead and we'll hop in. From what I could tell, uh, this is not going to be a very difficult EZA area, which is going to be really nice. Um, unfortunately, they set it up in the old format. Uh, for some reason so if you guys noticed a lot of the new extreme Z areas are now just in one straight line where you get the medals all at once uh, this one is in the stupid bracket format so unfortunately uh, you're gonna have to play it like at least a little bit you're gonna have to at least click on the nodes to get you into the stage the auto clicker is actually not going to help here so I can actually just go ahead and close it uh, because it's not going to provide us any value on this stage so um, in terms of how many medals that you will need, let me go ahead and pull that up uh, so I can show you guys on the side here uh, while we're farming the event over here. Oh, excuse me. Uh, I got a little bit of a uh, got a little bit of a burp going up. That's right. I have to click out of the stage. So here's Frieza. Let me switch over to right here. You guys can see. These are the medals that you'll need to awaken them. So 3 plus 5 plus 7 is 15. Uh, so you'll need 15 of the bronze medals right here. Let me actually zoom in just a little bit more here. So that way you guys can just get a full load of this. So, well, actually that didn't help at all. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, it's not going to help that much. All right, well, 3, 5, and 7 makes 15. So that's how many bronze you're going to need. Uh, 10 and 30 silver makes 40, so you're going to need 40 silver. And then 30 gold and 30 rainbow are the amount of medals that you'll need. Um, if you guys don't know, the left pathing will give you the bronze medals. The right pathing will give you the silver on stage 1, uh, Z-hard difficulty. And then once you move up to the super difficulty, um, the left side will give you gold. The right side will give you rainbow. So if you're not sure which medals that you need... Uh, or if you're not sure which path to go down to get the medals that you need, that's what you need. So bronze, silver, and then gold, rainbow, left to right. So left side, bronze, left side, gold, right side, silver, right side, rainbow. So 
Uh, just keep that in mind whenever you're farming up the event right here again. I, I don't anticipate anybody having too many issues with this. Um, it seems like this one is going to be pretty easy. I mean, we're just one-shotting this Frieza so far on this stage. Um, so that's good. I will go ahead and go to the super stage now. So um, you guys can see the Z-Hard stage. Usually the Z-Hard stage isn't going to be hard for anybody. Um, but if it is giving you trouble, let me know. I I'm always happy to help you guys out in the comments if I can. Uh, if you see somebody else struggling in the comments and you've had luck beating the stage, be sure to help a fellow Dokkan member um, out and uh, maybe offer advice where you can. So... Uh, if you if you see anybody saying like, hey, where do I farm this character? How do I get this? You know, do you have any recommendation recommendations for team building? Uh, be sure be sure to help people out in the comments because you know that that type of stuff can go a long way. You know, we don't all start off with an encyclopedic knowledge of this game, right? It, it all takes us a little bit. It takes some of us longer than others to learn about the game, but that's okay. Um, let's go ahead. We'll just give Mecha Frieza some orbs. It doesn't really matter here. Pretty sure we're just going to one-shot Frieza. Looks like he can be sealed. Um, so if you've got any Wicked Bloodline units in the lineup that can seal, looks like he is susceptible to sealing. So, um, that, that you know, if you can usually lock these bosses from super attacking you, that, that's really all you need to do. Also, I apologize for no in-game sound at the moment. Um, I, I can turn it on here, but... Uh, the, the game is playing like, what is it? Ultimate battle or whatever, or limit break X survivor. They're playing that in game right now. So I have to be really careful about, you know, making sure that when audio is on and when it's off and uh, sometimes I just forget to turn it off and on. So you, you guys just get to listen to me, uh, talk for a little bit right here instead of listening to limit break X survivor. And then now I can unmute it. Ooh, nice. We got a, um, question mark. Usually whenever I get a question mark, I go down the opposite pathing of whatever it gives me. So like right there, it gave me silver. So I was going to go down gold. Now I was going to go down gold anyway on this run, just because I usually go back and forth. I usually go silver, gold, silver, gold. Uh, that way, if I do get a question mark, there's a better chance that like, I'm not just having to do like a extra run, if that makes sense. Um, uh, because like, you don't want to go silver, 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 and then you load in to do your gold runs. And then you go to the question mark and it's a silver like like that would just feel really bad. Um, whereas if you go silver, gold, silver, gold, um, and then you hop in for like your what would that be? What did I say? Silver, gold, silver, gold. And so then you hop in for attempt five um, and you get the question mark. Boom. Now you're done with silver and then you can go to the right. Now, boom, you're done with gold. Um, so it's going to take, by the way, I, I don't know if I mentioned this. I don't think I did. Um, but just the way the metals are placed on the map, it'll take you going down each path three times in order to um, complete the medals that you need so you can see right here I've been down the well we got a we got a gold um, question mark so that's why I have 20 medals right here and then I have 10 of the rainbow because it we went down the path on the right side once uh, that, that's generally how these medals work out right here is you, you can you just need to go down each path three times so it's not too bad that means in total you need to do three six nine twelve runs uh, assuming that you don't get any question marks. If you get a single question mark, it's going to knock down your runs potentially by one. Uh, now, if you're like me, you're going to get the really unlucky thing where it's like you don't get a single question mark until the very last run that you do. That's always like the worst feeling in the world. You get all the way down to the very end, and it's like, all right, I just need to do one more run, and then that's, that's where you get the uh, question mark, and then you end up with like 10 extra medals. I cannot tell you how many times that has happened to me during... Um, like one of these easy a area grinds so um i'll go ahead here and farm up the rest of the metals that i need off camera um just so that i can show you guys you know me awakening frieza farming in his other copy doesn't look like it's going to take very long uh considering we are just one shotting this guy on the hardest difficulties so uh again i i actually did have a little bit of trouble with the beerus easy a area uh i, I found that like beerus could actually do damage to me but it seems like frieza here is a bit of a pushover so uh, let me know what you guys think about this event. Let me know what you guys think about free-to-play Frieza. Thank you all so much for watching. I'm going to go ahead and cut right here. We will come back once I have all the medals that I need. All right, everybody. So we are back, and I do have Frieza ready to be awakened. Here we go. We've got all the medals that we need to get this guy up. Again, you need to go down the Z-Hard stage left path three times. Z-Hard stage right path three times. Super stage left path three times. Super stage right path three three times uh, unless you get a question mark then obviously you get to go down one of the paths less times so uh, anyway let's go ahead and get this guy awakened right here we'll get him up and uh, we'll get his super attack up after this so boom character level goes up to 140 max super attack level goes up to 15 
This is why we farmed up a second copy right here to SA level five back during part one of the celebration right here. This was the extra five copies I was talking about right here. We have this Frieza with no dupes, no hidden potential system, anything like that. Simply, he's at SA level five from getting five copies trained into him and then awaking him to his TUR state. Uh, whenever you train two of the exact same cards together, literally the exact same card, not just the same name, then whatever their super tech levels are, they will combine whenever you train them together. So that's why we have our rainbowed copy here at SA level 10. We've got this one here. Again, zero dupes, zero hidden potential system, nothing like that. Just SA level five. They're gonna, gonna they're going to combine to SA level 15 right here. Let's go ahead and train them in. I forgot to select training items. My bad. Uh, let, let's, let's try that again. <laughs> my my bad guys. Uh, and there we go. So Frieza is trained up. Again, sorry about no audio, but uh, Limit Break X Survivor is playing. So boom, there we go. Uh, level 140, SA level 15. Frieza is awakened. Uh, he's level 10 links, everything like that. So again, you don't actually have to get Frieza done for the 50 ticket multi. Uh, check out my video on those tickets uh, in particular if you want to know how to get those. Uh, but again, I thank you all so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Let me know if you had a hard time with this. Uh, ask your fellow Doconners in the chat if you did. So thank you all again. I really appreciate it. Good luck, and I'll catch you guys next time.